So here's another video of my Raycaster. I raised the resolution slightly so it would be easier to get an idea of what's going on. You see we have a full range of movement, a full 360 degree range of rotation. So it moves just like a first person shooter. And it's the same deal as walls are further away that are drawn a little darker. They're all drawn with holographic material. And I did try to get different colored walls. I wanted blue and red colored walls in this sample, but it was highly unstable, so I wanted to make sure it worked. I'm being very cautious with every enhancement I add to this. And I'm going to detail all the theories, all the implementations I've done so far in my blog very soon. I know everyone's anxious to hear it. Don't worry. Very soon, and hopefully if we all work together, we'll come up with something great. Unfortunately, there's just some problems I don't think we'll be able to work around. I'll detail those as well. I also have some ideas for texture mapping that I think everybody's going to be very interested in. And like I said, it's all going to be on my blog. So if you're interested, let me know and I will personally tell you as soon as it's up. You see we have full, strafe, forward, backwards movement like in any FPS. But the 3D is just an illusion. You'll see in a moment. You see this is kind of the player's camera with the arc representing his field of vision. The arc is really just a series of rays and I don't mean those scary things that swim in the ocean. I mean like mathematical rays. And when it intersects a wall, it translates to a drawing in the screen. So that's how we get the illusion of 3D. And I'll go more in-depth in this later on. I'll put some information on my blog. So if you're interested, please leave a comment or send me a message. And as soon as it's on my blog, I'll get back to you.